Hello everyone, I'm Pallavi and today we are going to overview EDI dashboards. EDI dashboard is a graphical user interface that provides easy access to information at a quick glance. Some of the major use cases of EDI dashboard are, it provides a single view to track all inbound and outbound EDI transactions. It provides the end users with a comprehensive and concise view of error messages, which are more user consumable and easy to track and resolve. It also provides a single view of all the trading partners and the documents associated to them, as well as the status of each trading partner, whether they are live or in test phase. Moving forward, let's have a quick glance at the EDI process flow. This process starts when we externally receive a purchase order from a trading partner. Then we go into M3 to create a custom order. If there is some error associated to the order, it can be managed from the dashboard. When the order is delivered to the customer and the ship notice is generated, this can also be tracked and verified from the EDI dashboard. Moving on to the generation of invoice and seeing which invoice is tied to what shipments as a part of invoice can be ver verified from the dashboard. In the end, we also have a tab that lets us track all the trading partners and the status of each of the trading partner. Now we would sign into our M3 environment and have a quick look at the dashboard. As I've already signed into my M3 environment, you can see that the dashboard can be accessed from the program function OIS 300 or the customer order open toolbox. As you can see on my screen, there is a button called dashboard, which helps me to launch the EDI dashboard in a separate tab. The first tab is of the orders this tab gives us an overview of the PO number, the customer, the order number, and so on and so forth. As you can see, there are two custom columns called Remark 1 and Remark 2 that provides the business partners the flexibility to add to each of the order certain extra information that they might use for filtering out the orders. We also have a search tab that helps us to search for a particular order, as well as a filter that works on the start date as well as the end date. We can also export this entire order file into an Excel using the export function. Moving on to the next tab, let's now have a look at the trading partners. As you can see, we can search and filter out on trading partners using the search tab. The live status tells us which are the trading partners that we are currently dealing with and the test status tells us which are the trading partners who are still in development. Moving on to the next tab, let's have a look at the shipment notices. In the same manner as the orders and trading partners tab is laid out, we can search a shipment from the search bar filter it depending upon the date and the end time, as well as you can see the entire information about the shipment notices tied to the delivery number, the PO number, and so on. There is also a column called tracking number in the shipment notices that helps you to populate each order, order's tracking number, as well as two extra columns of remark one and remark two to fill in certain business process required information. You can also export the entire ship notices to an Excel using the export button. Now let us have a look at the invoices tab. In the invoices tab, we do have the PO number, the order number, as well as a special feature tied to the delivery number. There could be a case where one invoice could be tied to several deliveries. Therefore, by clicking on the deliveries, you can have a view of what are the different deliveries that are tied to that particular invoice. 
you can add extra information pertaining to the business processes in these extra columns search depending upon the start date and the end date as well as export the entire report into an excel another feature that we talked about was tracking the errors as you can see under the orders tab if there is an error associated with the order you can click on the errors and it will generate a list of all the errors associated with those with that PO number going forward once you resolve all the errors you can verify the status and the error would change to zero which means that the order is good to go thus by the end of the video we should have a high level understanding as to how EDI dashboards help end user to track inbound and outbound EDI transactions, track order errors, shipments and invoices. It provides a single view of all the relevant information about the order, the trading partners, shipments and invoices to the end users. For more information about EDI dashboard, kindly reach out to us using the email address given in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned something valuable. Thank you for your time.